We're doing the 2021 May June paper 4 series 1 uh, question 3a about spheres and cones and there's a lot of information here to read through and when I give you a lot of information like this it's a good idea to highlight important words because every single word here is important. Right, let's read through this. The diagram shows a solid cone and a solid hemisphere. Right, we can see that. The cone has a radius of 2.4 and a slant height, with slant there, is important, of 6.3 centimeters. All right, we can see that, but the, but the fact that they mention it there means we're going to have to use this information. The hemisphere has a radius R, we can see that. The total, and that's in bold, Okay, so it must be important. Total surface area of the cone is equal to the total surface area of the hemisphere. Right, so the surface area of these two are equal. Calculate the value of R, and then they give us the formulas. The curved, ah, oh, we see, with total has now become curved. So we need to be aware that there's something going on here. Area A of the cone with a radius R, there is, and a slant height again, slant height, L, equals A equals pi or L. And the curved surface area again, A of a sphere with radius R is A equals 4 pi R squared. Right, so we've read through this carefully. If you have to read through it again, two, three, four times, whatever you need. Okay, next thing. Let's start with what we know. They've given us a formula. Let's use the first one and we write it down. A equals pi r l and that will give us the curved surface area of the cone okay but something is up we need total surface area so to the top the curved part we're going to have to add the base of the cone which is just a normal circle and the area of a circle is pi r squared all right you can work these two values out separately and add it in the end or you can do it all at once, like I prefer. It's just less chance for mistakes. Okay, so let's substitute in here the values we have. All right, we know what pi is. Then r, the radius, 2.4. L is the slant height. The slant height that clearly told us there, 6.3. And then we're going to add the base to that, which is pi. Uh, the radius again, 2.4 squared. Let's put that into our calculator. Here we go, pi 2.4 times 6.3 plus pi 2.4 squared. Okay, now you got a choice. Yeah? You can uh, write this in the decimal values just do not round the answer yet because we are not finished and we want a very accurate answer so write at least four or five or six digits me I prefer to write it as a multiple of pi okay so which is the answer okay if we use this our answer will just be more accurate in the end all right, so now we know we've already picked up some of these four marks. Things are going well. Okay, we've used this formula. We've used the cone. Let's go on to the sphere. Okay. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Let's write down the formula. A equals 4 pi r squared. That gives us the curved surface area of a sphere. We want the total surface area of a hemisphere. See, every detail is important, and I missed that at the beginning. Hemisphere, half a circle, whole circle, which means we're going to have to half this value. Okay, there's different ways of doing this. Um, one way is to multiply it by half, or if you want to write it like this, 4 pi r squared divided by 2, same thing. Okay, again... And that's also going to give us uh, the curved part. Again, there is a circle we have to add to it. So let's add the circle, which is again just pi r squared. Okay. 
Um, let's do this. Before we continue, we can simplify this, all right? It's quite easy. Half of four is two. You can do it now, you can do it after you substitute the values in, it doesn't matter. All right. I do notice one other thing. Pi r squared, pi r squared is the same. It's similar to having uh, 2x and an x. 2x plus x is 3x. So we can here say 2 pi r squared plus pi r, 1 pi r squared gives us 3 pi r squared. It simplifies everything just a lot. If you didn't spot this, and you substitute your values in there, and you're working out, or you work these out separately, you should still get the right answer. Let's substitute in here what we know. Right, now we do have the total surface area. We worked it out there and they told us this is equal. So the total surface area is 20 over 25 pi or 65.5964, etc. And on this side, the radius is, that's the thing we don't know. Let's substitute that for a big R. Okay. So next thing we need to do, we need to get the R alone. So we're going to take the 3 pi, which is multiplied with R, move it to the other side, and it becomes divide. Okay. Now I spot something here, right? Pi divided by pi, they will cancel out. If you didn't spot that, we can still just do it on our calculator. It will automatically cancel it out. So let's type this in. All right, I've got 20 and 22, just spotted that I copied this wrong, over 25. If you didn't cancel the pi, you could leave it there, and that gets divided by 3 pi. Okay, which gives me 6.96. Easiest to write the decimal value, 6.96. R squared, we need to get rid of the square. So the opposite of square is square root. So let's do that. Square root, our previous answer, which gives me the answer 2.638, rounded to three significant figures, 2.64. Okay, now I know there's a lot to this. Okay, even here I've done a lot of things where you might not spot. Okay. It's four marks. This is one of the questions. It's really hard to get full marks, but they can easily pick up two marks here, three marks for the working out. Okay, you can easily get an A star even if you don't get the final correct answer. All right. Well done.